Here's my version of my clapperboard. I made it with plywood, uh, tape, and Elmer's glue, along with a uh, hinge that I got from Home Depot. So let me, let me tell you uh, exactly how I made it. First I went to uh, Michael's and I bought a 10 by 20 by one and a half inch piece of plywood and I cut that plywood into four pieces and the pieces comprise of this area around the, uh, the, main, the, main, the main square along with these four other pieces let me go by the side so you can see I have these two top pieces uh, one here one there and then this this back piece here as sort of a frame to, to hold the, uh, the board in its entirety and the way the board is held is I actually glued it with Elmer's glue so there's no wood, I mean there's no uh, screws except for the hinge as you can see I have the hinge right here and so what I did is I bought the uh, the uh, dry erase board from Michaels for about uh, no, I take that back. I bought the wood from Michaels for about eight dollars, and I cut the wood into those particular pieces. And the and the wood, once again, uh, these pieces are about uh, one and one quarter inch uh, width across here. And I, what I did then is I went to Target and I bought the dry erase board for about five dollars. And the dry erase board had, is two-sided, so it has a side where there's a line, where there are lines, and there's a clear side. So what I did is I, I'm showing the clear side right now. And what I did is I used Elmer's glue, and I just glued the back of the erase board on the wood. And after I sort of, you know, uh, marked it out and I cut it with my saw, the wood I then glued it with the uh, Elmer's glue, and I let that sit overnight. So the next day, this back piece here, right here, I glued that on to the top piece here. I let that sit overnight, once again with Elmer's glue, and uh, that is holding really well. So in the meantime, what I did is these two top pieces right here, I uh, put my as you can see my hinge in and you have to make sure that the hinge is put in uh, pretty straight and level so that when you open it up it, it falls exactly perfectly with the rest of your board. Now the way I put my wording in is I uh, printed out the words in Microsoft Word and I used clear tape and I taped my wording onto my erase board. So uh, right now you can't see it, or maybe you can't see it, but I don't think you can. The uh, wording is such that I can write in the open areas with my erasable pen, but you can't write over the other areas because you're actually writing. Well, maybe you can write on the uh, wording, but you don't want to. You're actually writing on the the uh, the words itself, and you don't want to do that. But you do, I do have enough space where I can write between the wording uh, with my erasable pen and erase them. So now what I did is I also went to uh, Michael's and I bought some paint because I didn't have any paint. The paint cost about uh, a little uh, less than two dollars and I bought black and white paint along with uh, something to paint with. And if I get a little closer you can see my detailing where I open it up. I don't know how well you can see that. So I tried to uh, put on everything, take, paint everything pretty well. So let me put it in action for you. Oh, one last thing. Down at the bottom, this also came with my erase board. And I bought my erase board from Target. And I bought that for about $5. And it came with this little pen or uh, erase board piece on it. So what I did is I turned it upside down, actually, when I made all of this. So let me put it in action so you can see how it works. And one last thing, uh, a lot of guys, what they do is they'll put that uh, something like a piece of wood here to keep this 
uh, piece of wood, when it goes up, to keep it level, because here's the problem, here's the one problem that I have, is sometimes that this will slide from left to right. And that's because I have nothing really mounted on here to keep it level. But I thought to myself, I said, well, when I'm using this, since I'm controlling it with both hands and I raise it up, I can raise it down such that it, everything will be level when I use it. So let me, uh, let me try it so let's see how it works. Sounds pretty good. Now, one thing that I was thinking about or that I found out when I made this was that I thought about making these two wood pieces here twice as thick. But when I was hitting them, when I was hitting them together, the sound that it made, it made it very, uh, a very low pitch sound. And I thought to myself, well, you know, it's a lot easier to work with just by making this, these two pieces by themselves. And the sound that it makes is a more higher pitch sound. And so from a technical standpoint, when you're looking to sync your audio with your video, that little sync line will be a nice, crisp, sharp line as opposed to a more wider, uh, a wider line on a, on a smaller, on a uh, lower sounding board. Now, in the end, that may not make a difference, but I thought that it was a lot easier to work with just by having uh, this one piece, and it sounded pretty loud when I hit it. Uh, let me do it one more time just so you can uh, hear it again. And uh, it seemed to work out pretty well that way. Anyway, uh, I hope you all uh, liked what I did, and uh, let me uh, hear what you have to say. Talk to you later. Bye.